Hello.
Hello. Hello. Hello.
Dear parents and students, please be ready. Live streaming of the program is available on YouTube. Please check your class WhatsApp group. Very good afternoon to one and all present here. 
today is a very special day for all of us at St. Mary's, especially to you, dear parents, as you are eagerly waiting to witness the performance of your children. With great joy, we extend a warm welcome to all our esteemed guests, parents, and well wishes to the celebration of our physical training display. We are honored to have you join us today to witness the incredible talents and hard work of our students. Welcome to one and all. Our chief guest, Mrs. Jean George, special invitee and well wishes have arrived. They are escorted by our manager, Sister Edwina, principal, Sister Sanjana, and management members of our school, along with the magnificent school band, led by PT Master Mr. Raghu for a ceremonious welcome. Dear audience, we request you to rise and welcome our guests. Everyone to stand up and rise, rise and welcome the guests. We extend a warm welcome to our chief guest, Mrs. Jean George, dear fathers, brothers, and sisters of our neighboring school. I request our honorable dignitaries to take their seats.
our privilege to have you all amidst us. A hearty welcome to all of you for today's event. The lighting of lamp holds a great significance in our culture and tradition. It symbolizes dispelling of darkness and assuring in of knowledge, wisdom, and enlightenment. Today, we have gathered here to celebrate this timeless ritual and to pay homage to the pursuit of knowledge that lies at the core of our educational institution. Let the divine grace of the Almighty envelop each one of us and enlighten our path to reach greater heights. Now, may I invite Mrs. Jean George, Sister Edwina, the manager, Sister Sanjana, the principal, Sister Febby and Sister Alma, High School Coordinator, Mrs. Sarva Mangala, Primary Coordinator, Mrs. Jyoti Lakshmi, KG Coordinator, Mrs. Meenakshi, PT Master, Mr. Raghu, Sports Captain, Taslima of Class 10B, and Sports Vice Captain, Anvit Fernandez of Class 9A to light the lamp. Let us begin with a prayer before commencing this PT display. Almighty God, we are here to seek your blessings and guidance as we embark on this PT display event. We are grateful for the opportunity to showcase our physical abilities and teamwork. Help us to perform to the best of our abilities, showcasing our skills with grace and confidence. We ask for your support throughout this event. We pray for the management and teachers who have tirelessly worked to prepare us for today's program. They have imparted knowledge, discipline and encouragement, shaping us into the individuals we are today. Grant them strength, wisdom and patience as they continue to guide and inspire us. May their presence be filled with appreciation, joy, and encouragement. May this PT display be a memorable and uplifting experience to all. Amen. We start the PT display with March Pass. It is a ceremonious display of discipline marching performed by our students. Our school holds this event to instill a sense of courage, discipline, and pride among the students. It promotes physical fitness, coordination, and development of leadership skills. The students of St. Mary's Convent School are ready to showcase the spirit of their school and to represent their respective houses. The March Pass in our school is not only a visual spectacle, but also a symbolic representation of the values and ethos of the educational institution. 
It fosters a sense of belonging and camaraderie among the students, creating a memorable and inspiring experience for everyone involved. It is a competition. It will be judged on the following points. Marching and synchronization, 10 points. Discipline, 10 points. Appearance, 10 points. Dispersal, 10 points. Overall impression, 10 points. Total, 50 points. We welcome the three judges who will be judging the march past. Mr. Padmaraj and Mrs. Nirmala Joseph from Sethidham School and Sister Edwina, the manager from St. Mary's School. The march past is led by the school band, Harshita M. of Class 10A, followed by school head boy, Suman H. Raj, and head girl, Annie Joseph. Bearing the school flag with the vision of the school, education for knowledge and service. Then the sports captain, Taslima, and vice captain, Anjit Fernandez, followed by the four houses. The first house is Gandhi House, led by the captain, Master Timaya, and vice captain, Ms. Danvi, marching with the motto, Unity is Strength. The second house is Tagore House, led by Captain Ms. Lakshanya and Vice Captain Master Kartik, with the motto, Effort Spells Success.
The third house is Nehru House, led by Captain Miss Andrea Joseph and Vice Captain Master Ratan Patel, with the motto "On Wings of Loyalty." The fourth house is Mary Ward House, led by Captain Master Vikas and Vice Captain Miss Parinika Gayakwar, marching with the motto "Truth Alone Triumphs." Dear parents and friends, let's give a huge round of applause to our school band. All four houses 
for showcasing the spirit and the values of our school. Thank you, dear students, for creating in us a memorable experience. A warm welcome to each and every one of you on this auspicious day. We are delighted by the presence of our esteemed guests, sisters, fathers, parents and well-wishers. We are here with a graceful and vibrant welcome dance that, that sets the stone and spirit for the proceedings. It is a heartfelt expression of our joy and the respect we have for you all it is a it is a, our way of saying that this day this moment and this celebration of the welcome dance welcome dance and here welcome dance is going on
very outset of this program i am delighted to welcome our honorable chief guest mrs jean george she has to her credit 26 years of teaching experience with the ciace currently she is the principal of mg school for excellence she is on the panel of inspectors for the affiliation of ciace schools and holds the portfolio of convener south bangalore zone c examinations council for indian school certificate examinations currently she is also the president of karnataka icse school association we are delighted to have you as our chief guest for today's program with much love and appreciation for the person you are we welcome you ma'am to our program i request mrs suganya ma'am and mrs smita ma'am to felicitate our chief guest
of physical training for this year is Ecol Econ, which focuses on the importance of ecological and economic sustainability. It is the goal three among the seven goals from Pope Francis encyclical Laudato Si. It is an urgent call to all to intervene in the current ecological crisis by making a paradigm shift that will allow all human beings to live sustainably in dignity. This theme aims at creating awareness to the students about the interconnection between the environment and the economy and how our actions can impact both. Through this PT display, the students will showcase various exercises, drills and performances that highlights the significance of ecological conservation and responsible economic practices. This display will emphasize the need to protect and preserve our natural resources, promote sustainable living and make us informed choices that benefit both the environment and the economy. The Ecole and Econ team encourages the students to explore innovative ways to reuse at waste consume energy and promote eco-friendly practices in their daily lives. It also emphasizes the importance of understanding the economic implications of our daily actions such as supporting local businesses, practicing responsible consumption and promoting a circular economy. By incorporating this theme into the PT display, students will not only showcase their physical abilities but also demonstrate their commitment to create a sustainable future. It provides an opportunity for them to educate and inspire others about the importance of balancing ecological and economic considerations for the well-being of our planet and future generations.
Honeybees look gorgeous. Dear children, it was a very captivating and lively performance. Please give them a big round of applause. A school band serves as a social or creative outlet. It gives students the opportunity to interact and work together with other various academic pursuits, races, cultures and backgrounds. Let's welcome the school band of St. Mary's Convent in its full vigor, valor and enthusiasm. Hello. Hello.
Thank you, dear children. You produced a wonderful and spectacular show and taught us the importance of unity and support. Keep it up. Give them a huge round of applause. One of the principles of the event Igor Igor is divestment from fossil fuels, which is harmful for the planet and humans. It is not a financial choice. It is a moral imperative by withdrawing our support from industries that contribute to environmental degradation. We are here with a powerful message of our dedication to a cleaner, healthier planet for current and future generations. With four formations, we come with the following messages. Formation 1. Formation of trees. Trees absorb carbon dioxide and generate oxygen to breathe. Do not cut trees as they purify the earth. Formation 2. Formation of factory with smoke. It gives us the message, do not encourage factories causing more than 10% pollution in the environment. Formation 3. Formation of vehicles. Use lead-free bedrooms to reduce smoke emitted out of the vehicle. Formation 4. Formation of fire. Do not burn garbage or any toxic substances which release harmful gases that cause pollution of the surroundings.
topic for today's environment you did a fantastic job ladies and gentlemen please applaud them wholeheartedly
Smile is the beauty of the soul. Thank you, dear Tiny Tots, for making us smile through your scintillating performance. Let's give them a huge round of applause. <laughs> Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. It gives me immense joy and great pleasure to be a part of this prize distribution ceremony. St. Mary's Convent School has proved its standard over the years, transforming its students' community. It has been soaring high and touching lives. Our constant endeavor is to push the limits so that each student is encouraged to explore his potential and interest. It's time to felicitate Class 10 ICSE toppers for the academic year 2022-23. We proudly announce that our school achieved 100% result. I would like to invite our distinguished Chief Guest of the Day, Mrs. Jean George, to come on to the stage and crown the toppers. Ladies and gentlemen, your applause is the wind beneath the wings of the shining stars of our school, who are ready to take flight. Please keep cheering for them. The award for the first topper of the school goes to Ananya G. She scored 95.4%. She has scored 100% marks in maths and HCS. Congratulations, Ananya. Please come up on stage to receive your award. The second topper of the school for the year 2022-23 is S. Chandana with 93.2%. I call upon Chandana to receive the award. The third topper award goes to A. Kamalesh with 93%. The fourth position goes to Yashaswini N. She has scored 91.2%. I call upon the fifth topper of the school, Sandhya Priya, who has scored 90%. Congratulations, dear children. Thank you, Honorable Chief Guest. 
Mrs. Jean George for distributing the awards and I thank all of you for encouraging these bright stars with your cheers. The admiration of the genius makes one aspire for the excellence in life that creates the harvest to abundance. I now humbly request our chief guest to address the gathering to deliver your message. Ma'am, we are truly honored to have you with us today to grace this occasion. Hello, I think that's better, thank you. So that's like the third try. Sustainability is not a goal. It is a thought, it is a way of living. And it is also a commitment to nurture our world today without compromising on the future of tomorrow. Good afternoon. Reverend Sister Sanjana, Principal of St. Mary's Convent High School, to all the Reverend Sisters, Fathers, Brothers, to the dear parents, teaching and non-teaching faculty, and to the wonderful students of St. Mary's ICSE School. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to everybody. It is indeed a pleasure to be here. And we must thank God for the beautiful weather. Yes, it is on the slightly hotter side, yet we should be thankful because it looked cloudy yesterday and today. So when I was looking at the theme for today, I was truly impressed because this is the concern of today. Ecol Econ or ecology was and economy integrated. So the big question is, how do we maintain sustainability? Because we live in a world where enough is not just enough. Enough doesn't make us rich. We always want the dil mange more. That is what we are so used to. So then comes, how do we go about? Some of the children perform beautifully, giving us a message through the drills that they presented, the honeybees, the trees, the fossils, everything has a message, has a word for us. So I want to just bring out three or four things that are very practical today. When we talk about, you know, usage and throw away, we are so used to use and throw. So let us write, try and relook at that. How about using 
things that we can reuse, right? We have so many things that we can reuse. How about having wealth from waste? We talk about art, right? Why is it only a competition? Why can't we have it for real? Why don't we have less paper or paperless offices? That should be our goal. And when parents pack tiffins, let's try and use steel tiffin boxes or reusable plastic containers. Personally, I am totally against plastic containers. Even water bottles should be steel water bottles. So if you are standing for call economy, then I think every little thing should emphasize and focus towards that. Similarly, how about having a fashion show with a twist? Have a fashion show with reusable material. Fashion show out of waste. In the year 2012, in my school, we had that, and we displayed the outfits out of old, you know, throwable material. Also, I think parents can insist and encourage children to be more eco-friendly in every way. UNESCO has come up with green education policy, the four pillars, that is curriculum integration. Unless we integrate urban practices into our curriculum, everything that we, we talk about today will just be in our books and in our records. Similarly, we talk about campus utilization, the way we utilize our campuses, community engagement, how do we engage our community, and capacity, skill, and training. So everything should be aligned or should focus towards green educational program. Mahatma Gandhi said, the earth has enough for man's need, not for his greed. I want to conclude by saying that we have just one planet, and it is up to you and me to take care of it. There is no plan B. On a note of that as we are approaching Christmas, I want to wish all the families of St. Mary's Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year, and God bless each one of you. Thank you. Thank you, madam, for your words of appreciation and encouragement. The imprints made by you will be cherished in our minds forever. Ecological economics encourages us to examine our lifestyles to discern what changes we can make to lead a happy and peaceful life. We, the students of class 9, have realized that the practice of yoga has helped us to tune out the market noise and to focus on our life goals. It has taught us the art of ethical investment to attain a healthy body and mind, as well as emotional clarity and stability. Yoga disciplines our mind and body. We are here to perform yoga natya, which has different types of asanas like extended side angle, half fold, free pose, lord of the dance, and so on. Join us, join us and experience the magic it does.
The theme of Yoga Natya is being displayed by class 9 students. Y O G A Yoga. The audience, please keep cheering for them. What a performance. It was very engaging and excellent. We really need to practice yoga in our daily lives for our good health. Education at St. Mary's is rooted in a 400-year tradition begun by Venerable Mary Watt, the foundress of the Congregation of Jesus. St. Mary's offers students everything they need to support their learning and growth. St. Mary's strives at providing the students and individuals all the we the students of class 10, Taslima Sara, Brunda H of class 10A, Kirti of class 10A, Hashina K of class 10A, Sharmil Kamal of class 10 b are privileged to present the pleasant duty of presenting the brief report of all the activities conducted during this academic session. The new academic Classes 1 to 10 by invoking the blessings of Almighty. KG's section of Mary Walk Kindergarten was welcomed joyfully to school on 6 June 2023 and pre KG on 6 to their first day of the school. The blessings were good, then those were the the first and the fourth Saturday of Mary Walk Kindergarten observe no bad day. On these Saturdays, they are engaged in creative activities of different types like Red Day, Green Day, Yellow Day, Maths and Literary Activity Day, Serious Activity, Play Modeling and so on. It aims at developing their school. The students are encouraged to learn at their own experience and at their own thoughts. The pre-KG and KG school environment at Maryward Kindergarten is joyful, purposeful and involving the students to take part in various competitions conducted in school like rhymes, storytelling, fancy dress, quiz competition, etc. The entire school from classes 1 to 10 functions in a democratic manner based on house system assisted by four moderators. On 15 June, the investiture ceremony was held for high school students and on 27th for primary school. The new school cabinet was elected. All the captains and vice captains of the four houses, the head boy, the head girl, the sports captain and sports vice captain sit with badges, flags and sashes to remind them of their responsibilities to the school and their peers in a meaningful ceremony. St. Mary's embarked on student individual learning journeys. This is where the school aim at igniting love of learning while striking a healthy balance between a warm, friendly environment, structure and curriculum. This is a 
a student-centered curriculum which makes learning meaningful, joyful, and stress-free. The school offers customized, supported learning programs for students who need additional guidance to succeed, like art and craft, well-equipped library, physical education, life skills, value education, personal counseling, creativity in science, team-based assembly, curricular-based quiz program, logic, reasoning and creativity program, science Olympiad foundation exam, KISA talent search examination, inter-school examination online and offline, cultural and literary activity. Many students took part in online story writing competition and 10 student stories have been selected as the best ones and are being released in book form. The primaries offer yoga and karate to develop their multi skills. 24 students took part in in the school karate tournament and secured second position with medal, trophy and certificate. The high school students are encouraged to be self-reliant under the supervision of effective faculty. They are expected to take responsibility in managing timely submission of assignments. Periodic tests and examinations are conducted to help the students to be systematic. Collaboration skills are inculcated through peer learning, project-based learning, group discussion, and presentation. For classes 9 and 10, extra classes are taken in the morning and in the evening after school hours. A three-day talent fest was held in the school campus from 10th to 12th August with various competitions where three-fourths of the students took part and received certificates and trophies. A three-day sport was held in the school campus from 24th to 26th August for classes 1 to 10. All through the year, the school conducts various other competitions like vegetable carving, quiz, debate, recitation, art and craft exhibition, science talk, anchoring and event, singing, dancing, and so on. Apart from these, the students are sent for various inter-school competitions like sports, karate, dance, art and craft, etc. Interested students also take part in online inter-school competition arranged by the school. Sustainability at St. Mary's Convent School St. Mary's is committed to cultivate environmental awareness in the school by teaching the students about the three R's, reduce waste, reuse resources, and recycle materials. To carry out these responsibilities effectively, KPIC Club and Mary Ward Club has been inaugurated for both primary and high school respectively. On 24 June for the high school and on 7 July for primary. Through JPIC and Mary Ward Club, various activities are done by a student like organized classroom gardens, set up a seed bank, and distribution of wide varieties of seeds. The classroom library is set up by the students in their respective classes. The classroom waste is collected in three categories, papers, plastics, used pens, and they send for recycling. Kitchen waste compost and rainwater harvesting activities are held in our school to help students to analyze the waste to grow more plants and save water. Two of our students took part in a three-day workshop on climate change action plan in Kolkata, West Bengal, where 50 schools from three countries were present. One of our students took part in an online meet globally on the same theme where students from 10 countries were present. Each year, the students are given outreach performances offline and online. Our school aims at creating individuals who are intellectually competent, morally sound, psychologically whole, imbued with the sense of the divine, committed to the cause of justice, love, and peace, and ever open to further growth. 
Our school is featured with spacious classrooms and interactive panels for classes KG to 10 for 21st century learning and for audio-visual learning. Science labs and computer labs provide hands-on experience. Last year, a new mobile app and eCare Pro app was introduced. This app acts as an interface between parents and students. Parents are kept up to date of their child's progress. Parents can track students' details, attendance, report card, holiday list, fees, activities, monthly and yearly syllabus, and so on. Orientation programs are arranged for staff, students, and parents. Every year, an educational trip is arranged for classes KG to 10. The students are also encouraged to do charitable deeds by donating the things for the underprivileged and visiting the old age homes. More facilities are given, like building new washroom building and extending the primary sections by building second floor in Mary Ward block. St. Mary's is getting ready with a new building with more facilities like seminar hall, auditorium, in the process of starting IMC, basement with indoor game facilities, and setting up playground with more facilities. academic year along with the present curriculum we introduce artificial intelligence for classes 9 to 10. Thank you dear parents for choosing St. Mary's. St. Mary's prepares its students to face current and future challenges by inculcating a solid value system and teaching them to be true to the school motto education for knowledge and service. Thank you. It's incredible to realize what we do each day as meaning in the big picture of God's plan. Thank you, dear students, for presenting such a wonderful report. It was a proud moment to cherish the accomplishments of our school. We are blooming blossoms. We have been appreciated by humans for our beauty and pleasant fragrance and also hold cultural significance as religious, ritual or symbolic objects. We become a visual representation of victory, grace, and honor. We blossom do not use words to announce our arrival to the world. We just bloom. So here we come the blooming blossoms of great world with our colorful performance.
Dear children, undoubtedly this atmosphere was perfumed with your lovely fragrance. The performance was very energetic and filled with emotion. Please give them a big round of applause. Energy. Tribesman proudly announces its commitment to sustainability by investing in clean energy initiatives, reflecting our dedication to a greener future. To highlight this thing, We bring out four formations in a drill form. The first formation is solar array. The grid light formation symbolizes the potential for clean energy that comes from solar power. In the second formation, 
the students create a beautiful spiral which represents the spiral of progress in a journey towards cleaner energy solutions our deeds and potentials wind our way to a cleaner and sustainable world the fourth formation represents the sun's power it reminds us that the sun's energy powers our world in an eco-friendly way The fourth formation rep represents the windmill. Thus, as the windmill plays a crucial role in reducing dependence on fossil fuels, we do our part in contributing to cleaner energy prospects. We are happy to announce that our St. Mary's campus runs on solar energy.
Thank you dear students for illustrating us to protect, restore and promote sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems by sustainable consumption and production patterns. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Our founders, Venerable Mother Mary Ward say in one of our maxims, God loves a cheerful giver. You have got to smile all the while. Life is yours every day. So smile, smile, smile. Whatever happens in life, keep smiling always. So, now the smiling of plasters come with the message that smiling not only fills you with joy, but makes the world around a happier place.
for teaching us how to smile in all situations well done dear children we the students of class 6 are here with the team traditional ecological knowledge which displays the rich healthy and diverse lifestyle of our ancestors in contrast to the mechanical robotic life which we are heading towards the first part of the show i like the simple uncomplicated and straightforward lifestyle and culture of our ancestors which included unity bravery wellness and adventure the second part of the show condemns our throw away culture and dependence on our technology thereby making us slaves this results also in un unemployment we the students of class 6 strongly appeal to you to reaccess the dignity of humanity and the integrity of creation in finding solutions to the ecological crisis
Efficiency and the keen coordination of mind and body. It is a path between self protection and self perfection. Learning karate improves self discipline, improves focus and concentration, sharpens memory, teaches control and patience, and most importantly, self defense. Let us watch a performance by St. Mary students showing various moves of karate. Let's go! Let's Let us go, boys. Come on, they. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Double punch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let go. Sikhraj. Kanai. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go. Sikhraj. Kamal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go. 
सिगरेट कमाए वन टू आवर यंग फाइटर्स आर एक्सिबिटिंग देयर लॉन्ग हार्ड सिग्नल एंड डिसिप्लिन ट्रेनिंग सेवन एक्सेलेंट चिल्ड्रन दे आर डूइंग अ मार्वेलस जॉइन टेन लेट्स सिगरेट कमाए वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन लेट्स सिगरेट कमाए वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन लेट्स सिगरेट कमाए वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन लेट्स नो से कटा नेम कमाते वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ओके वन टू थ्री वन टू थ्री कमाते स्टार्ट next excellent give them a big round of applause
Nee, los. Thank you, sister. All the best, dear students, for your future endeavors. Okay. Okay, move. Move, move. God created this beautiful creation and said it was good. But what has happened to this beautiful creation today? Our planet has been disfigured. The soil has lost its fertility. No water in the rivers. No people to work in the fields. Agriculture is considered to be a menial job. No one to hold the plow and sow the seeds. We are least moved by these drastic and rapid changes. Let us unite ourselves to bring changes by promoting local economies and accept its limitations. Make an effort to cultivate local seeds rather than genetic modified seeds. Soil being alive is the most important thing because the strength of the soil determines the strength of every life.
Well, saving the soil is really the need of the hour. Thank you, dear children. It was an amazing show with a reminder to all of us. Let's clap for them. With great pleasure, now I invite our respected principal, Sister Sanjana, to share our thoughts. Dear Father, Dear Fathers, Brothers and Sisters from various neighboring institutions, well-wishers, dear parents, teachers and my dear students, a very good evening to all. The theme of the PT display, Ikhal and Ikhan, is introduced the young minds of students in order to promote ecological economics and convert our dream about the economy all actions are by the principle to have enough is to be rich the students of St. Mary's Convent School witnessed this through their enthusiastic display. The PT display is not just a mere showcase of physical ability. But a testament to the holistic development
but a testament to the holistic development of our students. First and foremost, I would like to extend my heartfelt appreciation to our dedicated PT teacher, coordinators, and to all the teachers who are tirelessly our students. to reach their full potential. Their guidance, expertise, and unwavering support have played a vital role in shaping our students into disciplined and physically fit individuals. I would like to express my gratitude to all my sisters in St. Mary's for their support and timely guidance in this venture. Thank you, dear sisters. Beyond the physical aspect, the PT display also highlights the importance of mental resilience and focus. Our students have shown exceptional concentration and the ability to perform under pressure, which are skills that will serve them well in, as in all aspects of life. I acknowledge the support and encouragement provided by your parents and guardians. Your presence here today is a testament to your commitment to your child's overall development. Your unwavering support has undoubtedly played a significant role in their success. I congratulate each and every student who participated in the PT display. Your hard work, dedication, and exemplary performance made us immensely proud. Thank you, dear students. Dear parents, well-wishers, brothers and sisters, the St. Mary's Convent School wish to engage our students, staff and parents and act upon one's duty to care for God's creation and protect the poor and the vulnerable. We in by acknowledging our own contribution to the current state of envi environmental degradation. We have to acknowledge that we are part of the and cannot separate ourselves from the ecological crisis our world is experiencing. As our we need to begin with the ecological conversion which calls us to the rejection of every form of self-centeredness, indifference, and self-absorption. If you truly wish for brothers and for the earth, our common home, appreciate the As our starting point, we need to begin with the ecological conversion which calls us to the rejection of every form of self-centeredness, indifference, and self-absorption. If we truly wish to care for our brothers and sisters and for the earth, our common home, let's appreciate the environment, seeing it as God's gift to us, seeing the fruits of the earth as a way of God's care and providence. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, dear sister, for your valuable words. We feel proud to tell you that since eight years, we have been actively involved in the JPIC Club. JPIC stands for Justice, Peace, and Integrity of Creation. Dear parents, we invite you to join us and let us put our hands together and find a way to transform the world into one of justice, peace, and integrity. Now, we the students of class three are here to spread love and seek peace to transform the world.
Thank you Magnetic Charmers of Class 3 for your magnificent performance and for inculcating in us a longing for connectedness with our Creator. Dear audience, let's keep the round of applause going for our brilliant participants. The Human Pyramid requires strategy and planning. It helps the team members to bond and develop teamwork skills to adapt to situations as they happen. Let us watch a pyramid show by the students of St. Mary's Convent School showing that how self-discipline and teamwork can do wonders. They are demonstrating their loyalty to their motherland. Let us all give them another round of applause for their impressive performance.
What an incredible performance. Completely mesmerized me. What a coordination! Mind-blowing! Ladies and gentlemen, please applaud them for their energetic performance. The performance made us spellbound. There are no words to describe their performance. Such a rocking performance. Children, you nailed it. Remarkable, excellent coordination. Wonderful, amazing. We request you to keep on clapping. It was unique and fascinating. You demonstrated us that pyramid develops not only fitness and strength, but also builds skills and character.
every little drop of water makes the mighty ocean water is the most precious gift from the creator water is life let's save it water is the basic necessity for the functioning of all life forms that exist on earth water is a priceless gift for humanity by nature water is the reason behind the earth being the only planet to support life people are battling with water scarcity while three fourths of the earth is surrounded by water due to water scarcity it is important to save water and protect the environment life and the world we the students of class 5 are here with this message and request you to conserve water as a life giving source for oneself and others
well said save water save life thank you dear children for reminding us about the importance of water a very precious gift from god let's give them a big round of applause preserve and cherish the pale blue dot the only home we have ever known by carl sagan we need to save nature because future generations are surely counting upon us we enjoy the beauty of nature and pure air since our ancestors have maintained and saved them now the students of class 10 are presenting the significance of nurturing the nature for our future by giving awareness on deforestation reforestation and emergency of using oxygen cylinders just hold your breath and see the climax of the pt display ecol econ which promotes ecological economics that is we need to convert our dream of economy into practical actions all actions are underpinned by the principle to have enough is to be rich class 10 students are giving us awareness on deforestation and its impacts they educate us to have greater responsibility to save trees which gives us fresh air to breathe
small icon is being displayed by class 10 students. Let's give them a huge round of applause. E, C, O, L, Ecol, E, C, O, N, Econ. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Thank you, dear students, for your tantalizing performance. You enlightened us to take urgent action to combat climate change and its impacts by nurturing nature for our bright future. Let's give them a big round of applause once again. This is a special day for all of us. This is a special day for all of us as we recognize and appreciate the hard work, dedication and excellence of our students in various fields. Whether it is academics, sports, arts or any other domain, our students have shown remarkable performance and made us all proud. We have now come to the most awaited part of the ceremony, the Best House Award presentation. May I invite our respected principal, Sister Sanjana, to give away the Best House Award. Now, we begin with the primary section. The first best house for primary goes to Maryward House, Green House. I call upon the moderator, Mrs. Kavita Kulkarni, assistant moderator, Mrs. Sandhya, and the captain, Master Divyans of 5C, and vice captain, Druti Shri of 4B, to come and receive your prestigious award. Let's give them a thunderous clap and appreciate them. Next, the second best house for primary goes to Nehru House, Red House. I call upon the moderator, Mrs. Deepti Gupta, 
Assistant Moderator Mrs. Meera and the Captain Master Shreyas Pandey of 5B and Vice Captain um, Miss Adricha to come and receive your award. Let's clap for them. Arti, congratulations to the winners and I congratulate the moderators and teachers who have worked tirelessly to achieve this award. Keep it up. The best house for the first best house award for high school goes to Mary Waters Green House with 628 points. I call upon the moderator Mr. Nagaraja, assistant moderator Mrs. Kavita Kumari, Captain Master Vikas and Vice Captain Ms. Parnika Gayakwar to come forward and receive your esteemed award. The second best house award goes to Tagore House, Blue House. I call upon the moderator, Mr. Nagaraju, assistant moderator, Mrs. Vidya, captain Lakshagnya, and vice captain Karthik Prajapati of Tagore House to come and receive your award. Congratulations to the winners and I congratulate the moderators for your striving efforts. Once again, congratulations to all the winners. Thank you, sister. In the next category, we have the overall championship awards for the year 2023-24. May I invite our respected manager, sister Edwina, to give away the overall championship awards. This award reflects the dedication passion and hard work of our students. The overall championship award for the primary goes to Ms. Benuri and Sika of class 5A. So without further delay, Let us give a big round of applause to the most talented star of our institution. Congratulations, Ms. Benuri and Sika. Next, the overall championship award for the high school goes to Arshita KM of 10A class. Congratulations, Ms. Arshita. Congratulations to all the teachers for your enthusiastic support and guidance given to them to achieve this award. Congratulations once again. Thank you, Sister Edwina. Onwards to the next segment of the event. A thankful heart is not only the greatest virtue, but the parent of all the other virtues. Now, I call upon Ms. Kalpana Pooja and Ms. Shri Shakti of class 10 to propose oath of thanks. joy that makes us grateful. It is gratitude that makes us joyful. 
I, Trisha P M of Class 10B. I, Kalpana Puja of Class 10B. I here to propose vote of thanks. We have come to the end of the program. On behalf of the management and staff, I regard it a great honor and privilege to undertake the pleasant duty of proposing vote of thanks on this auspicious occasion. To all those who join hands with utmost commitment in making today's program a grand. First and foremost, I thank our chief guest, Mr. Jean Jones, the president of Karnataka ITC Schools Association. Who, despite who, who, despite a busy schedule, has found time to grace this occasion. Thank you, ma'am, for your esteemed presence. My heart filled with lots of gratitude and respect. My heart filled with lots of gratitude and respect for our distinguished guests of the day, Reverend Fathers, Brothers, Sisters from our neighboring schools, and our well-wishers for sparing your valuable time to spend with us. Memories fade, but photographs help us to relieve these memories. I express my heartfelt gratitude to the studio and team for their exquisite work. You created a memorable record of many cherished moments which we'll be able to enjoy for our lifetime. Thank you once again. I would like to thank Mr. Publish Sharif and team for the Shamiana and all the arrangements systematically. Thank you devoting Thank you for devoting lots of time and energy for the success of this program. We are proud to say that we have chosen our best audio system for our event. Thank you Mr. Prashant for making us capture the attention of our audience to the best sound system provided by you. This program would have been impossible without the zealous efforts of our respected program coordinators, Mrs. Meenakshi, Mrs. Jyoti Lakshmi, Mrs. Sarva Mangala. Thank you, dear coordinators, for your untiring efforts. An event like this cannot happen overnight. It requires a lot of planning and a bird's eye view for details. We have been very fortunate to be assisted by a team of very proactive and dedicated staff who are well versed in their job. I thank them from the core of my heart for their involvement and their willingness to take on the completion of tasks beyond their comfort zones. Thank you, dear teachers. There is an eminent personality amidst us who deserve our gratitude in abundance. She is none other than our dear principal, Sister Sanjana, the backbone of this event. Thank you, Sister, for being the catalyst and for encouraging us to do our best. My sincere thanks also goes to the manager of our school, Sister Edwina, and the sister, Sister Febi, Sister Biona, Sister Alma, and Sister Mahima. We thank you for managing the entire school distinctively and the timely support given to us. I owe special gratitude to the non-teaching staff and supporting staff who work hard to ensure that this occasion becomes a resounding success and for all the good hearts who work behind the screen. Last but not the least, I mention my deep sense of gratitude to all the parents present here. We thank you for your blessings and for being a part of our celebration. We appreciate all that you have done for us 
tirelessly and selflessly. Thank you one and all. Now I request our principal, Sister Sanjana, to give third top award to A. Kamalesh, with nine, who, who scored 93% in the class 10th for the academic year 2022-23. Now, we have come to the end of the program. Kindly rise for the national anthem.
ಹಾಗೇರಿ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಮುಂದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಹಾಗೇರಿ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಒಂದ್ ನಿಮಿಷ ಹಾಗೆ ನಾವು ಹಾಗೇರಿ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಮುಂದೆ ನೋಡಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಗೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಗೇರಿ ಮೇಡಮ್ ಬಾಯ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ನೆನ್ರು ಹಂಗೆ ಸೊ ಬಾಯ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ಅಣ್ಣ ಬಾಯ್ ಮಾಡಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ಎಲ್ರು